Hey guys, Mobius1 here, bringing you the walkthrough video for the third ADK giveaway that I had yesterday. Participants were asked to first watch the video on my channel that had all the instructions on what to do, but I'm not going to bother you with all that here. You can go watch that video if you want. I'm just going to show you step by step what you had to do. So participants were instructed to come to this ADK giveaway hall just outside the city Savreen on Rory. Inside the hall, they came down to this elevator and went down to the bottom floor where they found this. Four different rooms, each labeled with the name and coordinates of a different structure in the city, as well as two additional ones in this back room, one on each side of the room. Inside each room, they found four sets of backpacks that were questions with four multiple choice answers each and each answer from the multiple choice questions has a letter associated with it that when combined with the other correct answers for the room formed a scrambled four letter word so actually doing this walkthrough is going to take quite a bit for me to go over all of the different questions and answers but we're going to do our best to get through it one of the first structures on the list was the Savarine Founders Library. In the very first room of the library, we find an answer to one of the questions. The question was, to whom is the Savarine Library in honor of? And this little plaque or sign on the wall here says Savarine Founders Library in honor of Amiria Ra. So there's that answer. Next, when we come into the library itself, the next question is how many volumes of Encyclopedia Galactanica are there. Now if we go into this side room over here, these three bookshelves here say Encyclopedia Galactanica, volumes 1 to 30, 31 to 60, and 61 to 90. So the correct answer there is 90. The next question says, where can you find a snack in the library? If we come upstairs, across the hall over here, or around this uh, terrace rather, is the Swamp Grounds Cafe, which is a little snack bar. So, Swamp Grounds Cafe was that answer. The last question was a little bit trickier. It was, which book might a short person require help to read? Now, that means the book was on a top shelf. And the multiple choice answers list four different bookshelves that are all in the library. So, all four answers do exist. And the only way that you would be able to know which one is the correct one is to have made notes of each of the four multiple choice answers and then bring those answers here and look around for the correct one. Now the correct one was actually this one back behind, where is it? This one right here. It was actually hidden kind of behind the first row because what's what they is really interesting that they did here is they have both front facing bookshelves as well as rear facing. So this one back here, Histories of Sports Achievements, Past and Present, was the correct answer. Just down the road from the library is Zacy's Pet Store and Vet, which was the next structure on the list. The first question was, what creature makes sure Beertrom makes fair change? So Beertrom or By Bartrom is the cashier here, standing at the cash register and looking Ever so curiously over his shoulder is a bearded Jax, which was the answer to that one. The next question was, in addition to high quality grain feed, what other pet food is stored in a container? This container over here in the, in the corner says high quality grain feed. And in the opposite corner of the store is a similar container, which contains protein rich kibble. The third question says, besides the blowfish, what other type of fish is there only one of? Well, this here in the center is a fish tank. And if we look at all the fish in the fish tank, we got a blowfish right here. We have a striped fish, but there's another striped fish. We have a blue fish, but there's another blue fish. We have a black fish, but there's another black fish. And we have this guy, which is a la, which is the answer. And lastly, for the pet store, we have the fourth question, which is what creature managed to sneak into the vet's office? Now this one's kind of a trick question because there is a crate dragon painting here and one of the multiple choice answers is a crate dragon. Unfortunately, a painting of a crate dragon is not a creature. If we look up on this shelf, however, there's a dune lizard hiding on the top of this structure module. 
And I don't know how he got there. I didn't put him there, but he definitely managed to sneak his way into the office. So, Dune Lizard was the correct answer. Right across the street from the pet store is the Sum Kanara Resort, which is sort of like a hotel. The first question for the resort is what color crystal is in room number two? If we go down the elevator, we have a bunch of different rooms down here. You can tell what number they are by hovering over the door. So room four, room two. If we go into room two, sitting on the shelf right here is a blue color crystal. So the answer is blue. We then have a question, which room contains an elegant double-sided fireplace? If we go into this room over here, here's a fireplace which can be seen from each side, making it a double-sided fireplace. And what room is this? It's room three. Next question, how many seats are in the sauna? If we go back into this back room in the basement, we have lockers and soaking pool and sauna on our right. So if we go right in here, we have a nice little sauna with two, four, six, eight seats. So the answer is eight. And the last question for the resort is the penthouse contains a cabinet of Mandalorian liquors along with what other type of drink? So if we go over this way, we have the penthouse here. And if we go upstairs in the penthouse suite, we find these two cabinets. One says Mandalorian Liquors, and the other one says Coruscanti Spirits. Right across from the resort is the grocery store. First question is, what type of meat appears to be out of stock? Well, three of the options are herbivore meat, carnivore meat, and fish. And those three are obviously all here. So the only other option, the only other answer, was avian meat and there's no avian meat so avian meat appears to be out of stock the next question is which of the following is part of today's specials well the sign behind the counter says today's specials baguettes baked ham and wild snaff and baked ham was one of the options so baked ham is the answer third question is what type of treat is nami candy now this one was kind of a little trick question because none of the objects in the store actually say nami candy however if you look at these little treats on the counter here it says impulse buy candy and this ball on the top of the display stand says nami candy gungan style treat so nami candy is gungan style treat and the last question for the grocery store is what fruit or vegetable cannot can you not find in the center display so You'd have to pick your way through all these, find out which of the listed options is not included in the center display, and the answer was Thakatillo. Heading back to the north, we find the Eclipse Cantina. Upon entering, we have this cabinet on the left that says, please store your weapon, which one of the questions for the Eclipse was, patrons are required to store what upon entry? So, their weapons. Inside the cantina itself, we have the question, what is the name of the droid behind the bar? And his name is Igniter. Pretty easy. We then have Taylor Prudy shares the management office with who else? Well, this door right here says Eclipse, Taylor Prudy, and Asia Cal management office. So the answer is Asia Cal. And lastly, we have how often is the bruised, bloody, broken event held? Well, this sign here on the next to the entrance says bruised, bloody, broken every other Wednesday. So. Every other, every other Wednesday is the answer. And last but certainly not in least, we have Goalie's Gastro Pub Sports Bar. This is one of my favorite structures in the city. In here we have which team jerseys mount was signed by Hooch. Now there are a ton of jerseys all on display around the walls here. However, these ones up above the near the bar here have these mounted displays. And this one here, if you actually hover over it, says signed Hooch. So the answer is Team Zeltros. We then have which number is not on a team jersey. So four different numbers are given as options, three of which are on jerseys, because if you hover over these jerseys, some of them are numbered. So this one says Balmoran Athletics number 32, so it can't be 32. This one over here says Naboo Athletics number 15, so it can't be 15. This one on top says Team Fondor number 11, so it can't be number 11. So process of elimination means it must be number 7. We then have which ingredient is not used in the Savarine Special Loaded Fries. This over here next to the, I guess, where the chef would be standing, is a specials menu. 
And one of the specials is the Savarine Special Loaded Fries, a generous portion of Zaffa oil fried crispic layered with fresh torten steak, grilled to perfection on an open flame and sliced thin, heaped with belasin peppers, ikopi cheese, sliced wild mushrooms, and smothered in gravy. So the answer is blue milk sauce is not used in the special loaded fries. It's actually right here, used in the Team Zeltros Rolano. And last but not least, probably the most difficult question in the event, which was how many different brews does Hooch have? Now if we go over to this bar here, we can see a bunch of beer taps, six beer taps. If we hover over, we have Raltier Lager, Callus Barely Wine, uh, Dodecapolis Stout, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Ragnuk Porter, Fwisving Red Ale, and Hooch's Faint Praise Ale. So, obviously the answer is one, right? Unfortunately, no. The answer is not one. However, what I did do is I made the letter associated with the answer one a Q. So if you did go back to the guild hall and look at, you know, what letters you get for answering the questions, when you see that one is Q and none of the other letters are the letter U, hopefully that was a red flag thinking, hmm, maybe the answer is not one. So as, as much as this was a trick, this like was a really difficult trick question, I did put that little, you know, letter association in there to kind of tell people if they did end up getting that answer like hey that might not be right what you actually have to do is if you turn to your left here and go behind the counter right here are two additional beer taps one says hooch's big header bock and hooch's lofty goals porter so really hooch has three different beers on tap when we take all those answers back to the guild hall Let's see, in the library, we had Swamp Grounds Cafe is D. We have Amiria Ra was E. 90 was R. And Histories of Sports Achievements Past and Present is A, which gives us R-E-A-D, or the word read. Across from that, in the Eclipse, we have every other Wednesday was N. Their weapons was O, Igniter was S, and Asiya Cal was G, which gives us S-O-N-G, or the word song. While we were in the Sum Kanara Resort, we had Coruscanti Spirits was T, Room 3 was R, Blue was S, and eight seats was E, which gives us the letters R-E-S-T, or rest. Across the hall in the pet store, we had Protein Rich Kibble gives us U, Dune Lizard gives us E, Allah gives us T, and a Bearded Jax gives us C, which gives us the letters C-U-T-E, cute. In the back room, over at the grocery store, we had avian meat was O, Gungan style was also O, uh, Thakatilla was D, and Baked Ham was F, F-O-O-D, food. And lastly, the gastro pub. We had Team Zeltros was E, Blue Milk Sauce was T, number seven was A, and three was M. So, that gives us T-E-A-M, team. Now here's the really interesting part. For those of you that didn't watch the stream, the very first email message that I got was from Oren, with the words cute, meat, rest, food, song, and read. If you notice, while only five of these words are correct, cute, rest, food, song, and read, he actually did have all of the right answers for meat. However, the word wasn't supposed to be meat, it was team. And as bad as I felt, I unfortunately had to put a five minute penalty on Oren for submitting an incorrect answer, though I did tell him which word was the wrong one. If you look at the times though, two minutes after Oren's first submission, 
Feebo sent me another sent me his submission. Cute read or cute read song food rest and team. So Feebo won after waiting on his five minute delay. Uh, RN submitted resubmitted cute team rest song food read. And claim second place. Now I don't have a male here, but uh, the only person who stuck around long enough to get third was Doey. So uh, he basically just gave me his words in spatial because there was nobody else competing at that point. I think a lot of people uh, thought this was a little too involved, but I thought this was I thought this was much better design uh, event than the last one, and yeah, it, it went over really smoothly. It actually only took Oren and Feebo about 35 minutes to finish, which was really impressive. So I don't know. I am curious to see what you guys would like me to do for an event for the next ADK giveaway event. There is going to be more. So if you have any suggestions for an event, feel free to leave a comment or let me know on Discord or some other medium of communication. Do keep in mind that I really like keeping these available to anybody, regardless of profession, so any sort of, like, PvP fight or something like that, it's probably not gonna happen, just because that, that excludes a lot of players from participating. Something more along the lines of, like, a swoop race or a scavenger hunt or something like this is, um, is more of what I'm looking for, but I like to keep it fresh. I like to do new, new things, so let me know if you have any ideas. Big shout out again to Taylor and the uh, SAV Guild for letting me use their city for this. Their houses are incredibly well decorated. I don't know how long it would have taken me to come up with my own decorations or designs or that sort of stuff. So it was really nice of them to just open up their city for us and let us use their amazing houses. Congratulations again to the winners and thank you all to everyone else who came out. Even thank you to those of you that stopped by on the stream to watch. The stream video is posted, so if you're curious to go watch uh, people run around and try to solve riddles or, or find clues to, you know, these answers, you could go watch that there. I did follow around some people as they were trying to figure stuff out, so it was less boring than my previous giveaway streams. But that's all for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for attending the uh, event. Well, we just won here. And I'll see you next time.